שלום, שלום. שלום, בלובק. Glory be to God. Tonight, tonight is a wonderful, going to be wonderful, going to be powerful. It's a prayer time, prayer time. Connect, connect and share the link. God bless you that are already connected. Sorry for the little delay. The technique, hallelujah. We need technician. <laughs> He's a God of wonder, he's a God of miracle. Expect your miracle tonight. Because when the children of God pray, miracles happen. Dance with us, dance with us. I believe. I believe. God bless you, God bless you, you that are watching. Thank you, Brother Mark. Oh, Pastor Rogers, God bless you. I trust in you. Oh, Lord, Jehovah. In you we trust. I trust in you. Pray with you. Pray with dance with us. Jehovah, in you we trust. Share the link, beloved. I believe in you. He's the God of miracle. He's the, yeah, the God of wonder. He's the God of power. Do you believe? Do you believe? Yes, Brother Mark, we believe, we believe, we believe. Hallelujah, 100%. I believe. I believe. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Hallelujah, connect, connect and share the link. We're going to pray, we're going to pray. We're going to pray according to the, word, to the will of God. We're going to pray according to the will of God, beloved. Because the Bible says in the book of James, in the book of James chapter 4 verse 3, that you do not receive because you ask with wrong motive. You do not receive because we ask with wrong motive. So we're going to start praying tonight. Lord, let our motive be right. Let our motive be right. While you are listening to the message, to the music, start interceding. That let our motive be right. Hallelujah. It's Fountain of Agape Mission Center. Fountain of Agape Mission Center. We are based in the West Midlands. If you are around West Midlands, you can locate Coventry. You can locate Coventry. Get to our website. You will find a direction. Get to our website. I'm Reverend Daniel. Coming to you from Coventry. Hallelujah. With joy, with gladness. Let joy fill your hearts. Your heart, let joy fill you. you are, let your heart be flooded, flooded with joy. So long. Oh, Baba. 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 Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Dance for Jesus. Dance for Jesus. He loves you so much. So, so much. Father, let our motive be clear tonight. Let our motive be clear tonight. Hallelujah. He said, you do not receive. You do not receive because you act with wrong motive. Mark that chapter. Mark that chapter in your Bible. James chapter 4 verse 3. Hallelujah. Mm. 
the God of wonders. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Thank you, Jesus. Baba, 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 Baba. 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 Yes, it's a time of refreshment, time of refreshment. Refresh your memory while listening to the praise, while listening to the praise. Let your memory be refreshed. Oh, daughter Christina, God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. We're going to continue with praise, beloved. We're going to continue with praise. We're going to continue with praise. Hallelujah. Before, let our heart be receptive tonight. Let our heart be receptive. Let our heart be receptive. Let our heart be receptive. Your heart will be receptive tonight. Hallelujah. You will receive from God. Yes, you will receive from God in the name of Jesus. You will receive your miracle. I say, expect your miracle. Expect your miracle. Yes, listen to this. Listen to this. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You've done so much to me. I could not tell it all. Yes, Dave. God bless you. God bless you. Let us open our heart. What God has done to us, we cannot even tell. Oh yes. What shall I render to Jehovah? What shall you render to Jehovah for what he have done to you? Hey, Abbasete. We have the breath of life. Our breath of life has been renewed every day. Oh yes, unto Jehovah. For he has done. Very much so. Sing with me, sing with me. What shall I render to Jehovah? He has done very much so. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Invite, invite our brother and sister to connect, to connect with us, to connect with us. Because uh, God will do something marvelous. God will do something marvelous. Uh, hallelujah. When we come to his presence, we must expect. We must expect. He's a God of miracles. He's a God that reveals secret. He's a God that reveals secret. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said we should go. We should go. We should go out. We should go out. Um. Share the love, the love that will come to manifest on earth. Holy Spirit, minister to us tonight. Holy Spirit, take control, take control. Yes, if God has done so very much to you, this is a time to humble yourself and say, Lord, take control. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, take control. 
May the Holy Spirit minister to your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Be still, be still, and know that I am God. Be still, be still. Be still, Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know I am God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hosanna. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus, clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to start to pray. Pray for our outreach, for our outreach. We pray for our outreach. Those that we are going out and the Lord is putting in our way. May the Lord continue, continue to touch their heart, to minister to their heart in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer that the Lord will give us the insight not to be afraid to go out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray for, for the evangelism. For evangelism. Let us pray for evangelism. Team that are going out to take the gospel from in out. Jesus, in Luke chapter 10, verse 3, he said, go, go as a sheep. Go as a sheep. Luke chapter 10, verse 3. Somebody can write it down. Write it down, Christina. Write it down in Romania. Luke chapter 10, verse 3. It said, go as a sheep. Go, go, go. Father Lord Jesus, the word said, you will anoint the feet of those that spread the good news. Let the feet of everyone around the world. We are not just praying for us. We are not just praying for our ministry. We are praying for the children of God that are willing, that are taking the gospel, even in the difficult place, even in the nations that have been forbidden to hold Bible, to go in the street. Um, yes, yes, Christina, look at, look at 10 in the name of Jesus. Verse 3, verse 3, verse 3, my darling, put verse 3. He said, go, go as a sheep. And then you will meet wolf. Wolf will be out. So there are people out there that will try to intimidate you. That will try to say, what, what are you doing? What are you sharing? People were coming yesterday, even to touch the guitar, to touch the guitar of Brother Mark, to see if... I, I, I come to realize that the, the Holy Spirit ministered to that, to that guy to, it, because he was hearing the, the sound of the music. He, he didn't know that the, the, it was just a normal guitar. But he come to touch with his hand. He touched Brother Mark. I can see Brother Mark say to him, it's normal, it's normal. Hallelujah. God is wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let me position myself. Position yourself. Fasten your seatbelt because we are taking off in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer. Pray for everyone in the field of the mission. Yes. Kadunu. Yes, ask people in Romania to connect, to connect, because I'm going to be reading it for them. I'm going to be reading it for them. Verse 3, it said, go as a sheep among the wolf. So when we go out, hallelujah, expect to meet people that will say, what are you doing there? Some people, some, a, 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 a man told me yesterday, I was giving him leave. He was running, he was running, like, like I was having fire on me. He was just running, say, no, 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 don't come near me. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The Lord will anoint your feet. He will put his word in your mouth. His word will come into your mouth. His word will come into your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Let the word of God come into your mouth. Let the word of God fill your mouth. Because out of the abundance of heart, the mouth speaketh. Pray. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. It's our time of intercession. He said the wolf, those wolves will not, will not swallow you. Now let us go to verse 17 and see the result when they come back. And see the result when they came back. When they came back from, from obeying. The, the spirit of obedience is very important. When we obey God and not afraid of the wolf. We're going to come back with miracle. We're going to come back rejoicing. Verse 17. Luke 10, 17. He said the 72. The 72 came back rejoicing. 
The 72 came back rejoicing. Thank you for those that are just connecting. Hallelujah, hallelujah. When you connect, you share the link. When you connect, you share the link in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The 72, Luke chapter 10 verse 17. The 72 came back rejoicing. Why was they rejoicing? Why? 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 What filled their heart? The Lord answered their prayer. Hallelujah. Because they obey. They just said we obey. Thank you, Sister Christina. Thank you. Hallelujah. Verse 17. They said they came back rejoicing. And then they gave the report. They gave the report to the Lord and said to the Lord, Oh, even demons, even demons obey us when we use your name. Even demons obey us when we use your name. I come to tell to someone this morning, hallelujah, demons will, will obey you. Demons was, will obey you. They are in the spiritual realm. They are in the spiritual realm, but they have ears. They can see. They can hear. You command. Just command. Just command because Luke 10, 19, verse 19, he said, I have given you the power. Okay. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 19, because the, the 72 did not know that Jesus gave them the power. That's why Jesus now come to, to 19 and say, because they obey you, because I have given you the power, I have given you authority. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I come to confess, I come to agree with someone this night, this night, that the power of God, the power in the name of Jesus, that's what is bringing your miracle, that's what is operating your miracle in the mighty name of Jesus. You will come back rejoicing. You will come back rejoicing. Go out for evangelism, you will come back rejoicing. Yesterday we were rejoicing. Many people ask us to go and show them the church, to go and show them the church. It's not for them to come to the church. We are rejoicing for the seed that we sow in their life. We are rejoicing for the seed that we have sown. That seed will bring forth fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, Vanda purtet si autoritat. Autoritat. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yam. Yam dat puretat. Puterat. Oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They say it come, they come back rejoicing, rejoicing. Thank you, Sister Christina. God bless you. Oh, you are my interpreter, wherever you are. That's why the media is good. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Mark. Thank you for all those that are clapping in the mighty name of Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Evangelism is the first task, first command that God, Jesus Christ, gave to the disciple you see when jesus said to them go to, over over the world they, they try to stay in one place they, they try to stay in one place to build a tower but persecution persecution come so persecution is sometimes it's a good thing when there is a persecution, you are crying. Oh, the people are persecuting me. Oh, people are leaving the church. Oh, people are leaving the church. If God wants us to scatter and go out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So persecution come in the time of apostles when they were sitting, when they were in one, one, one place. Oof. The, 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 the kill Stephen. The kill Stephen. Now. They start going to Samaria, Judea. The gospel start going out. That's why we have to go out, beloved. We have to go out. You must have the anointing of evangelism. I'm praying that we should have the anointing of evangelism. Every child of God. Every child of God, at the sound of my voice, if you are not ready for evangelism, if you are not ready for evangelism, if you are not ready to go out, if you are still afraid to go out, it's the time to pray, to ask God, Lord, let your will be done. Let your will be done. The will of God can only be done with you and I. The will of God can only be done with you and I. Jesus, the Lord is asking, whom shall I send? Who shall I send in the book of Isaiah? Whom shall I send? Hallelujah. I can see someone says, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. You are a good singer. You are a good singer. Come, go in the city. Come in the city and show how you sing. You are a good dancer. Come to the city and see how, and show how you know how to dance. People will gather and then we will give the word. If you doesn't know how to give the word, come and be dancing and we will give the word when people will gather. I saw some people gather yesterday looking at the apostle. The, your apostle is on the street dancing. 
dancing and you are sitting at home. Uh, may the, the Lord deliver you from the spirit of uh, laziness, from the spirit of lukewarmness, from the spirit of fear in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We must go out, beloved. We must go out. We must go out as a church, as a community, as a, as a body. Hmm? We are the body. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 4. We are the body. We are the body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hosanna unto you. No more fear. No more fear. We saw a little boy. Little boy, maybe one year, two years, yesterday. She didn't want to go. She dragged the parents closer to the, to the, to, to, to the, to the music. And he was dancing. I said, that is the seed. That is the seed. That child will grow with that seed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, the same spirit, the same spirit that is in us, adult, is the same spirit in those children. So when we keep our children out of the gospel, out of the will of God, out of the heart of, house of God, we are losing those children because the enemy will start infiltrating a bad spirit. Now, when it will come a time that you will say, let us go to church. No, you, the child will say no. You don't know why. Because the enemy already hardened his heart. Father, we thank you. Can I say so? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, I got a good interpreter. If you are in French, you can write it also. Somebody can be writing in French. Hallelujah. Where is deaconess? Deaconess is not there. Father, we thank you. Oh, Roko Pakarian de Rebesoko. Rende Katabagari Rose Kataba. Ozana, Ozana. Pray, 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 pray. Use your heavenly language. Pray. Let we we want to be out. We want to be out. We want to go out. Build up, build up, build up a team. Build up a team of evangelism. Father, sustain Brother Mark. Sustain Brother Mark. Be around him. Around him. I saw yesterday, Brother Mark, about 800 people. 800 people. And people are still watching. People are still watching. Go to the Facebook. You're going to see the number of people that are watching. That is the soul that we are seeing. We are, we, we are sowing. See that we are sowing already in 800 people's heart. 800 people's heart. Father, we pray that from that from those seeds, there will be germination, there will be growth, there will be increase in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing will stop the evangelism okay. around the world. Okay. Let us pray for the missionaries, those that are working in difficult places, mm -hmm. in, in, in Asia, mm -hmm. in China, mm -hmm. in, 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 in uh, okay. difficult country. May the Lord give them wisdom. We need wisdom. Wisdom to penetrate with the gospel. Some are going as a farmer. Some are going as a, as, as a teacher, lecturers. Lecturers. Some are going as a, as, as a tourist. Tourism. Hallelujah. Let us pray that the Lord will give wisdom. Wisdom. We have to go to Pakistan. We have to go to, 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 to uh, hallelujah, Philippines. We have to go difficult places with the gospel. India, India, they are killing, they are killing men of God. They are killing child of God in India. We saw last time the slaughter four, four pastors, youth pastors, young pastors. So let us pray that Lord, your will will be done. Your will will be done with men and women. We included in the name of Jesus. Say so you do not receive because you ask with wrong motive. Mm -hmm. What is our motive to go to going out? Mm -hmm. What is our motive? If our motive is to win souls, if our motive is not to build a tower, if our motive is not to pull to, 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 to bring crowd and be proud that oh we are a pastor of 1,000, 200, 500 people. If our motive, beloved, is to for one soul to be Save that heaven will be rejoicing. That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Heaven is rejoicing for one soul, one, not not hundred, one. 
Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. And pray for someone that you will be you will be a spiritual father, you will be a spiritual mother of someone out there. That you bring the gospel. You follow that person. You put that name, the name, the name in your book, in your book, in your book. You pray, you pray, you pray, you pray until he become a man of God, until he become a woman of God, until he become an instrument, an instrument into the hand of hand of God, into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We are we are talking with example. We are talking with, uh, with 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 testimony, testimony, testimony. Hallelujah! One of our spiritual son, he called us. He called me last time. He said, "Papa, I want to open a branch in Chad, Jamena. That is in Africa. I want to open a branch. I want to open a branch. So we need instrument. We need guitar. We need this. We need that. The hall. The hall is already there. It's going to cost us this. He make a budget and send it to me. That's what we are looking for." Listen, Jesus in the parable of talent, Jesus in the parable of talent, he said he gave, they gave five, they gave two, and they gave, they give. Hmm? He gave five, he gave two, three, or, and one. He said that one that you are not using, we're going to take it and send it to chat. We're going to take it and send it where somebody wants to use it. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. It's Jesus that said, say, if you doesn't you want to use what he has given you, even that one going to be taken from you. It's going to be taken from you. And when he take it from you, it's to give to the next person that is available. Hallelujah. Father, it's not your portion. Thank you, Maria from, from, from Spain. Manca Sokoto. Hombre. <laughs> Hallelujah. Porque porque no va en casa. Porque no va en casa. Yes. You are watching us from Spain. Share the link. Watch with your family. Your family are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. You are the light. You are the light today. Glory, glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, daughter. God bless you. What is the motive that we are out? We are going out for. What is the motive? He said, when you pray for the salvation of a loved one, you never had to, to wonder if it's God's will. If it is clear spelling out in scripture. God wants all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So when you go out for the evangelism, you don't, have, you, you don't need too much ideas. Don't take the gospel, just take just to take the gospel out. Nothing, nothing else must pass through your nothing, not to make money, not to make money, not to make money. You want to be rich, you want to bring hundred people so that you get hundred tithe, hundred offering. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That is not the motive. The motive is that you you come to realize, you come to understand that God's will is for everyone to be saved. And they can only be saved if someone has been sent. If someone has gone. And if someone has opened his mouth to spread the gospel. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, he said, I will build my church. And the gate of hell shall not prevail. Now we can pray that prayer. Lord, you say you will build your church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it. The gate of hell will not prevail against the church, the true church, the true church of Jesus Christ. The true church that Jesus Christ is a head. That Jesus Christ is a head. That will give the preeminence to Jesus. That all the members are, 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 are obeying Ephesians chapter 4 verse 4. Amen. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 4. Let us read it. He said, we are all one body. We have the same spirit. Oh, yes. We are all one body and we have the same spirit. <laughs> Pardon. Are we having the same spirit? And we have all been called to the same glorious future. We have all been called to the same glorious future. I'm sorry, me. 
construis Bisesiaka si Hallelujah. <laughs> Maria writing in Spain, writing in 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 in, in, in Espanol, writing in Espanol, Ephesians chapter four verse four. We we need many languages. We have we have we have to reach the nation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Même en français, je vais lire, je vais parler en français. Hallelujah. I will speak to the francophone community. Hmm? We are one body. Nous sommes un seul corps. Nous sommes un seul corps. Et un seul esprit. Un seul esprit. Quel esprit t'anime? Quel est l'esprit qui t'anime? Quel est l'esprit qui m'anime? What is the spirit that is in you? What is the spirit that is in me? If it's one spirit, mm -hmm. we're going to have one mm -hmm. language. Amen. We're going to move together. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says two cannot move together if they don't have the same spirit. Karaboko mm Shekerebe. -hmm. Maria, write it. Open your Spanish Bible and write it. I want to read. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Christina is doing a good job. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, daughter. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Even the English one. Sister Priscilla, don't just sit there watching. Put the English version there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Deaconess, just come in. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, when you come, you start jumping. You start. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 That is unity in the spirit. The unity in the spirit. Everybody is happy. Everybody is writing. Everybody. The, our God is a God of many languages. Our God, that's, that's the 72. The 72 came back rejoicing. Rejoicing. They were in one spirit. They were in one spirit. They did not come in divided mind. Listen to the revelation we got this morning. In Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. Father, we thank you. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. You're going to be jumping, jumping. <laughs> eh? To come late. Yes. I got the, I got the Spanish, Spanish version. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. El Espíritu que te anima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, our God is a God of many languages. Our God is a God of many languages. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. It's a super, 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 super. Let us listen to... To one, 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 one. Let us listen to one uh, bit of the, the the music. Water, water your soul. Water your soul. Water your soul. In the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You that are tuning in. God bless you. You that are tuning in. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. What a mighty God we serve. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Say the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord will fill my heart. Let the joy of the Lord fill my heart. May the joy of the Lord fill my heart. May the joy of the Lord fill my heart. Fill our heart, Lord. Fill our heart with joy. Fill our heart with joy. Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable joy. Unspeakable joy in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Rejoice, rejoice. It's a time of prayer. It's a time of prayer. It's not a time of sleeping. Thank you, Lord. Continue to thanking God. Continue to thank God. Continue to thank God. Continue to thank God. Amen. Amen. If you believe, we're going to move to the next section. Next section. I know by now you have a new mindset for evangelism. You have a new mindset for evangelism. We're going to pray now for churches to be established. Churches to be established. Let us pray for the leaders of the church. The Bible says in the book of Timothy that we should, we should pray for the leader, leader of the nation and leader of the churches. The leaders are going through difficulty. They are going through 
lockdown that are going through. Many members have not yet back to the church. So we're going to pray that they will not be discouraged. None of them will be discouraged. So open your mouth and pray, beloved, for our church. Remember, church is first of us, we. So we have to be established. Establish, in, in, establishment in the word of God. Establishment in the word of God. The Bible, Paul told Timothy, study to be approved. Study to be established. Study so that you will not be toasted, toasted left and right. You know, you will not be following, following this one today, following that one tomorrow, following this one, and you are not stable. The Bible wants, Jesus wants us to grow. Like in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, it said Jesus was growing in stature. Jesus was growing. Jesus was growing. So why are you not growing? So we're going to pray that everyone in the church that is not growing spiritually, Pray that prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have called us. You have called us and you gave us a talent. You gave us a gift. You gave each and everyone gift. You gave, you gave each and everyone talent. Father, let that talent be manifested. Let that talent be used to, to harmonize your kingdom, to build your kingdom, to build your kingdom in the name of Jesus. If you are a technician, you will bring your contribution. If you are a, a IT personnel, you will bring your contribution. If you are a manager, a, a administrator, you will bring your... Listen, in the book of Daniel chapter 6, Daniel chapter 6, the Bible said King Darius, King Darius, he named administrators, he named administrators, Daniel chapter 6, he named administrators, and among those administrators, administrators Daniel Daniel was there and what happened Daniel had a quality a good quality of administrator until Darius put him ahead of other administrator that's why they, 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 they come against it that's why they were jealous hallelujah that's why they were jealous so what you are doing, beloved, what you are doing, we attract attention. We attract attention. You went to school. You have a degree. You have a master degree. But in your church, you are not a, an administrator. In your local church, you are not an administrator. You, 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 are you wasting that degree? Daniel used that administration, administration skills, and he gave him honor, honor in the name of Jesus. So let us pray, beloved, that we should be useful where God has placed us. Yes, God have mercy. Thank you, Deaconess. We need the mercy of God. We need the mercy of God. We need the mercy of God. Mediala Squalasa Opti Op Diploma. Yes. We have the diploma, daughter Christina. We have the diploma. But we must be a, 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 a steward. Good steward. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, make me a good steward. If you are a singer, if you are a singer, you have to be a good steward of singing. You have to go, you have to be listening to, to, to songs. You have to be listening to songs. You have to be listening. You have to equip yourself in the name of Jesus. The, the fact that I'm a preacher, I'm a preacher, I'm studying the word. I'm studying the word. I'm discovering the word. I'm partnering with the Holy Spirit. I say, Holy Spirit, teach me. Teach me, reveal, give me the rhema of the word. You that are singing, you must search, you must search, you must search in, in the instrument of music. Brother Mark, Brother Mark, you see, everywhere you see the guitar, the guitar, he, he, look, right. he, he look into it twice. He look into it twice. When, every, when someone is playing, you have to look. If there is a tune, if there is something that is, it doesn't, it, it will learn from there. Have a learning spirit. Teachable spirit. Teachable spirit, beloved. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Lord, baptize me with the teachable spirit. Teachable spirit. I have not been teachable. I have not been teachable. I have not humbled myself enough. I have not humbled myself enough in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will see joy will fill your heart. 
for whatever you are doing in the house of God. It won't be a burden. It won't be a burden. If you are sweeping the church, if it's just to sweep the church, you sweep by singing. You sweep. Hallelujah. 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 And the floor will be anointed. Every feet, every feet that will touch that floor, the God will give him possession in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Ryoga, Ryoga teka, domul sati. Hallelujah. When the Spaniard, when the Spaniard one. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I'm very excited. No, I'm going to give the floor to Mama to continue this prayer. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. But before I do, before I do, let me tell you this. I wanted us to read Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. Is it Daniel chapter 2? Yes. We are on Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. Verse 6. Verse 6, beloved, from verse 6. <coughs> Daniel went at once to see the king and requested more time so that he could tell the king what the dream means. Verse 17. No, it was 16, sorry, 16. I was reading from 16, 16. Daniel went at once to see the king. It's verse, verse, uh, Daniel chapter 2, verse 16, from 16, uh, Sister Christina. No, not 6, 16. Sorry. From 16. But, but from Daniel chapter 2, from six, is, is the story. It's still the story. I just want to, re, to remind us something. To open our eyes on something there. From verse 16. It said, Daniel went at once to see the king and requested more time. So he could tell the king what the dream means. What the dream means. Now, 17. Then Daniel went home and told his friend, Ananias, Michael, Misha, and Azariah. This is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You're going to understand that. He went home and told his friend. He urged them, he urged them to ask God of heaven to show them his mercy by telling them the secret so they will not be executed along with the other wise men of Babylon. That night, verse 19, very interesting. <clears throat> that night, the secret was revealed to Daniel in a vision. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven. Now, I want to, re I want to tell us something here. Daniel went home, called his friend, three friends. And then they come to one spirit. To one spirit. God is a God of order. Now, God said Daniel have this idea to bring his friend together. He's the leader. The Bible did not say God revealed the secret to Daniel, to Shadrach, to Meshach, and to Abednego. No. The Bible says in the vision, God revealed the secret to Daniel. That is the leader. You must recognize the leader. We must recognize the leader. That God chose Moses as a leader. When the children of Israel wanted to rebel against him, he opened the, 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 the soil and swallowed them. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they prayed with Daniel. They didn't complain. That's why God revealed the secret only to Daniel. Why only Daniel? Why only Daniel? No. But listen to what happened. The Bible says, where you go further, where you go further, beloved, where you go further, the Bible says, Daniel asked the king, Daniel asked the king, when Daniel was lifted, when Daniel was appointed, Daniel asked the king, remember my 
brothers, remember my brothers, I recommend them to you, give them the position. Hallelujah. And Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego also, they were rewarded. They were rewarded. They were rewarded by the recommendation of Daniel. By the recommendation of Daniel. Study Daniel chapter 2. Daniel recommends his friend to the king and they give them position. So I pray that if you are faithful to your leader, if you are faithful, you're going to be recommended. We're going to recommend you and you're going to be lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless your name. We bless your name. Give all this. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had the, the spirit, the humility. Humble spirit. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, give me a humble spirit. Give me the spirit that will humble myself. I will not boost. I will not compete with my leader. I will not compete with my leader. I will not be in competition with my leader. But I will contribute. I will be a contributor. I will be a contributor. I will be a partaker. I will be a partner. I will be a supporter in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rejoice. Rejoice. Expect your miracle. Expect your miracle. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for watching. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's so powerful, isn't it? To be in the presence of God, it is so powerful to connect with us today. Today is our prayer and intercession. I will come to see the first part to pray for our outreach. Hallelujah. Led by pastor. Also pray for the for the church with our word. Pray for, for our leader. Hallelujah. Pastor. Uh, Brother Mark, that he, he has that vision to go out, amen, to, to preach with his voice that God has given him. That is what God wants us to do. Hallelujah. Thank you very much to, for tuning there and connect with us. That's what we, we really appreciate that because if you are in the ministry and you don't tune in your ministry, it means uh, you are just a visitor. But when you are in your ministry and you tune and you listen and it makes you equip you, hallelujah, that's why we are one. We are united and we are moving in one, in, in, in one road. There is nothing that will scatter us. We move together and we, we understand one another and we know where we stop and we know where we are going to start. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you very much all those that are watching. Hallelujah. The church has already been introduced. We continue our prayer meeting and we are praying. We are praying also for one another. We are praying for our pastors. We are praying for our leaders. We are praying for each and every member of our ministry. We are praying for those that are persecuted those that are persecuted we are also praying hallelujah for our family for the protection of our family we are praying for the people hallelujah many of our beloved ones that are uh, uh, in COVID, are positive in this COVID 19 don't forget them hallelujah we remember them in this time of prayer we also pray that the children of god will have the essence of coming together hallelujah in prayer and in unity this is very very important very very important that they will have the mind to come together in unity in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so if you have to now just start thanking god for making you to be part of this prayer meeting today just thank god say lord i thank you that have been part of this prayer meeting let your ears be open let your eyes let your eyes also be open let your heart be receptive don't just be there because you want me to know that you are there you want us to know but let's i want you to understand one thing that god sees the heart of each and every one of us hallelujah i want you to understand one thing that the, according to the motive of your heart you are going to be blessed i'm going to be blessed hallelujah glory be to god so as pastor was just saying and he was speaking about the outreach we thank god for the for the ministry of the outreach we really praise the name of the lord because this is what god wants us to do this is even the mission of our ministry to go out and 
and preach the good news. Hallelujah. And God has brought us a, a, a man of God that has the heart to take us outside with, with what the Lord has given him, with the, with, with the talent that God has given him. And we are thanking God, we are appreciating God, and we are praying all the time that as people hear the sounds of his voice in the city, many people are bringing even money to give to him, but we don't want, we want the heart, hallelujah, we want the heart of people to come to Christ. We don't need money because people are bringing money, but we say we want your heart. And this is so powerful. If you are part of Fountain of Agape Mission, you need to find your way on Wednesday. Look for the way. If you don't know the way, ask the Holy Spirit to show you the way. You need to look for the way to come to that uh, to, uh, the, to the field of evangelism. Evangelism. You need to come to the field of evangelism because that is where you train yourself. That is where you keep yourself. That is where you see how people are lost. And this will push you because you cannot be in the church and you don't go out for evangelism. You cannot. You cannot tell me you're a Christian and you don't engage yourself for evangelism. No, you can't. I will never accept it. I will never believe it because even Paul, even all the apostles, they were out evangelizing. The they were turning the city upside down. What are you doing in the church? What are you staying in the church? doing what are you doing in the church so we have we have challenged Mission. ourselves this year because we have come to realize that sitting in the church make people to backslid because they don't have the vision of the kingdom they are not motivated to serve god when you sit 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 after you go out because you don't have any mission you don't have any purpose so this morning this evening as we pray we are praying that the lord will empower you the lord will stir up your spirit to see that the world is perishing to see that people are dying and then you can go out. If you have been saved, you are not safe to sit down. You are safe to go and save others. That's why Jesus sent the 72 disciples to go. Go. He just said them go. He didn't tell them where they were going. He said go. Go as a, as a sheep among the wolf. Say go because there are wolf outside there that don't want to hear the word of God. So you go and experience what other people, how people are lost. Go and experience it. If you can go and experience and then you will see how God will bless you and he will empower you, give you the courage. Hallelujah. It's my passion to go out and preach. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then we turn to the book of, of Daniel. I'm going to pray that God will refill you. As you pray, you're going to be refilled by the foil, hallelujah, a tongue that doesn't have foil, a car that doesn't have foil cannot run, if you're a Christian and you don't refill yourself with prayer, you can't move an inch in short, the devil will, the devil will take you, the devil will take you negativity, discouragement will divert you, so you always need to refill your tongue with prayer, hallelujah, with the word of God, glory be to God, say Lord, I want to refill my tongue, hallelujah Jesus, 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 Jesus Reka Sakara Inabaka refill yourself refill yourself hallelujah we pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you the devil is a liar glory be to god we are connected and we want you to know that we are here to pray know that very well that we are here to pray that is why when the degree come came out that the that nebuchadnezzar is going to kill all his magician plus daniel that was even innocent Plus Daniel, because he has the spirit of discernment, he said, no, let them give him some time. He went and looked. So I'm praying for you that may the Lord open, say, Lord, open my eyes to see the, the devices of the enemy. Pray that prayer. Daniel chapter 2. Daniel saw that the king was not happy because the armor of the king wanted to kill. He said, what is going on here? What is happening? He said, Daniel, you're going to be killed. But some of us will just stay there. They will come and slaughter or will just be there. We will not even have a heart to go. We will not even see. So I want you to pray that, Lord, open my eyes. Give me the spirit of discernment to see the danger when the danger is coming. Open, Lord, open my where eyes to see from? where the danger is coming and where it's coming from. Open my eyes to have a way of escape. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That is what is happening in the in Christendom. Many are sitting there. They don't know the way of escape. Where they call them, go, go, go. Come here. This, is that. And they, you know, the enemy is so crafty. It will drain you and it will divert your gift and it will leave you hopeless. 
show, but today you have come to hear the voice say, Lord, open my eyes to see the way, uh, the, 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 the way, the things that the enemy wants to do. Daniel's eyes was open. He told the person, he said, give us another time. Give us some days. We are going to seek the face of God. Don't kill this magician. Let me tell you, when you are blessed, you are not blessed by yourself. When you are empowered and you have the anointing, the anointing is not for you. The anointing is for others. The anointing for the people around you because what you have in you is what is going to come out from you. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you that the Lord will open Open your eyes to see. Daniel prayed that prayer. I said, open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see where this danger is coming. What is wrong? They say, oh, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed a dream that he could not remember anymore. And he said, because of that, he's going to kill all his magician, all enchantment. But because Daniel was there, hallelujah. When you are there, you are the light of God. When you are anywhere that there is danger, you are the light. And so, therefore, you have to be connected by the Holy Spirit. If you are distracted, they will kill you and kill your surrounding. But when you are connected by the Holy Spirit and connected with heaven, God will open your eyes to discern when the face of someone is going down, when the person is diverting, you will know and you will find your way for, of escape. Daniel looked for the way, not only for himself, but for all his friends. I want you to pray that prayer. God, open my eyes to see. Open my eyes to see, hallelujah. Open my eyes to see when danger is coming. Open my eyes to discern. Give me a spirit of discernment in the name of Jesus that I will not fall in the trap of the enemy. Beloved, God say, if, if the Lord be with us, Paul says so, who can be against us? When you can discern the trap of the enemy, the snakes that the enemy is putting around you, when you can discern, you will look for a way of escape. Daniel, God opened his eyes to see that there was danger. That's why he looked for three friends that could agree with him in prayer. You people, you will look for wrong people and they, they will come and kill all of you. You have to look for the same people, that the same spirit, that have the same love, that have the same motivation, that have the same purpose and the same goal, the same passion and the same thing, so that you can run that race together. That will not drag you back on me, Robert. I've come to pray with you this evening. That may the Lord open your eyes to see. May the Lord open your eyes to see. May the Lord make you to know that you are surrounded, the people you are moving with. May you be strong in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yeah, Daniel was strong. God has opened your eyes. Say yes, write something, write something, write it, write it. I want to hear you put yes. something. Hallelujah. Put something down. Hallelujah. Me. Because I don't know how to read Romania. It's Papa who knows how to read Romania. I don't know how to read it. Hallelujah. Because it's Daniel. Hallelujah. Papa know how to read it. The man of God knows how to read Romania. But I don't know. But the Holy Spirit can read it. Say the Lord may open our eyes to see and to discern. Hallelujah. When you can see, when you can discern, beloved, you're not gonna fall. Hallelujah, you're not gonna fall in the trap of the enemy. You're not going to fall there. Hallelujah. They'll be waiting for you, but you'll be going another way with joy and with happiness. Because, oh, they'll be thinking, oh, you are going to be, you are going to be stressed. You are going to be, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're going to jump and pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to God. The Lord is good. God is good all the time. God is good. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want us to pray this prayer. Let's pray this prayer. Many Christians are weak and discouraged. Many of us are weak and discouraged, purpose and hopeless without hope. I want us to pray because God is looking for prayer warriors. God is looking for those that will intercede. God is looking, hallelujah, is looking, is seeking, is searching those that will stand and pray. He's not searching for the sleep. He said, wake up, arise and pray. Hallelujah. He said, I will not, I will not be silenced. I will not give my, I will not give myself any rest. Yes, hallelujah. Don't give yourself any rest. Don't give yourself any rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer. The Lord, and pray. Pray for someone that you know is weak. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray because this is a period of prayer, beloved. This is the time that we should pray. Hallelujah. This is the time. Oh, this God. time. This time. This time we are in the danger. We The time are evil. The days are evil. Maybe you don't see it. If you are distracted, that's your business. But 
But let me tell you, the days are evil. The enemy is coming with so many strategies, so many ways to distract Christians. And the first thing that we will distract them is to divert them from not reading the Bible and from not praying. These are the things that they will do from not reading the Bible. If he can remove you not to read the Bible and not to pray, he have got you. If he can remove the desire, no, hallelujah, that passion in your heart, he have got you. If he can take it away, the passion not to go to the assembly of God, he has got you. That is a strategy. So we are going to pray. Pray this prayer. That Lord, I want my sister, hallelujah, to come back. Let the, my sister or my brother come back to his first love. Come back to his first love. Let the Lord begin to equip prayer warriors Amen. to bring revival in our Amen. life, to bring revival Amen. in the Revive church. Lord. In the name Revive of Jesus Christ, Revive. God is looking Ooh. for, is seeking for seeking. those that will pray. Yes, because Lord. prayer is a powerful Ooh, tool that will draw the attraction. It will draw many people to God. In the mighty in name, name of Jesus. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anoint us with your spirit. Anoint us with the spirit of prayer. Anoint us with the spirit of intercession. Anoint us with the spirit of supplication. The Bible says pray with that season. Pray with that season. And that is why today, our day today, Thursday, is our day to pray for whosoever. Put your prayer request. Write it down. If you want us to pray for something, write it down. We are going mm, to pray for that. Yes. Not only my own prayer topic will pass on. Put your prayer to it. If you want someone to receive Christ, if you want your friend to know, to receive to Christ, healed. put it down. To be here, write it down. We are going to pray. We are going to agree and we are going to pray because listen, the Bible says in Matthew chapter 18 verse 18 it says, wait two or three and gather in my name. Whatever thing they shall ask in my name I will do. He said, wait, wait two or three and gather yeah, he yes, is Lord. there. He is there. Jesus is where you and I in the spirit. He is here. He's listening. He has got ears. He's listening. It's not the son of man that can lie. Even hallelujah. He is listening. Tell me, tell me, don't tell me that God is not here. God is in your heart. God is in your house. He knows what we want. He knows and he will he will coordinate it and he will give it to us according to his will. In the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. I pray for someone who's that they should believe. I pray for your children that they should come to God. I pray, Lord Father, that they will come back. I pray for those that have gone astray, backslidden. I pray that they will come back wherever they are. Hallelujah. They will come back. Hallelujah. I pray that religious spirit will come out from so many of us. Religious spirit. You know, religious spirit is that when this person doesn't go to church, I'm not going. Because of this person that took me there, if he doesn't go, I doesn't go. Let me tell you, salvation is individual. <laughs> It's personal. When the person died, go and remove him and come and let him. go and take him. When he will stand in front of yeah, God, yeah. hallelujah, just say, no, Lord God, I'm taking this person. I had a dream one time. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, I got a dream one time and the Lord will show me where, where I was going to preach. And when I arrived there, the, the person that was at the gate asked me to enter. But the person that took me there, the person at the gate said, that person should not come in. Let the person go. But I'm the only one to enter into that, into that place. But I said, no, this is a person that brought me. He said, no, she cannot come with you. You are the person alone. Go, let me tell you, you that are going to church because of this person or because of this person. You are living because of this person or because of that person. You are in the wrong thinking. I want to pray for you today that may the Lord open your mind to know your understanding. May you give you knowledge and understanding to know that hallelujah, that the day you die, you are going to stand in front of God alone. No person will be there. Whether I deceive you, I tell you the truth, but you're going to stand alone in front of someone, in front of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You will not see him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, because God is so faithful. I'm praying for those that are blind. Pray for those that are blind, blinded in their mind. Listen, the Bible says, let the eyes of their understanding. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Glory be to God. Be enlightened. The light that is in the word of God may it shine in the eyes of your understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Joshua said, Me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. That is what Joshua said. He said, I don't know about you, but as for me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to serve the Lord. Thank uh, Glory be to God. We are going to serve the Lord. What are you saying? 
Repeat that prayer that Joshua said. Me and my house, we are going to serve the Lord. That is the declaration that you have to declare every day. That you and your house, you are going to serve the Lord. You are not hallelujah. Glory be to God. If your father or your mother or your husband is not serving the Lord, that is not a passport for you not to serve God. Hallelujah. If your best friend is not serving God, that is not the passport for you not to serve God. The passport for you that God has given you is for you to bring the person into the kingdom. So I pray that the Lord will empower you with the spirit of wisdom. Pray that prayer, beloved. Pray that prayer that may I have the spirit of wisdom in the name of Jesus Christ. If you love Christ, if you love God, you are, um, your motive must be how to, how to bring someone to know that light of God. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory. Repeat asika. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Yes, yes. Maria have given us a prayer topic. Pray for my uncle, Joseph, who is in the hospital. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. We are praying now. We am agreeing with you right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That's it. Jose, yeah, Jose. I'm praying, I'm agreeing with you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are agreeing right now that the power of healing, healing. the power of healing, we visit him, the anointing of healing. Send the word. Listen, the Bible says we should send the word in the book of Psalm 107, verse 20. It says, Send the word. We are sending that word in the hospital. Let me tell you, the word of God we just flow. The word of God will reach him and the hands of God will touch him where he's sleeping. Jesus will visit him. He will heal him from head to toe. Any power of darkness, any satanic manipulation, any sickness inspired by demon will disappear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying for you, Jose, that this, this sickness doesn't have any power. It's under our feet. We are agreeing right now in the name of Jesus. You are set free and free indeed. Let the healing power Power of God, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, visit you right now in the name of Jesus. We don't need to know the sickness and the name, but one thing I know that the Lord has canceled all the ordinances and prescription regulation that was against Him. God canceled it and He nailed it on the cross once and for all. So sickness doesn't have any power. We come against it right now in the name of Jesus, and we set you free. We set you free. We set you free. We set you free. May the blood of Jesus flush from head to toe, from head to toe, heal every sense that the enemy have destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the blood of Jesus flush. The blood of Jesus, yes, Jose is healed. Tell him we have prayed for him mm -hmm. and he's healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we are praying for Adina in Romania. Right now, we are praying for her and the family. Jesus we are praying Christ. that God will visit her. Oh, we are praying that God will visit Adina. In the oh, name of Jesus, we are praying that the Lord will open oh, her eyes to come to her. In the name of Jesus, oh, we are using her like a point of contact, removing oh, her, drawing her out from the spirit of religion. We caught her. We caught her all the chain that is binding her in the spirit of religion in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, send your prayer request. Send your prayer request, beloved. Send the prayer request. Hallelujah. We pray for our beloved one that are sick that are contaminated, that are positive. We know that God is doing his miracle in the hospital, in homes. Hallelujah. You don't know who, how many people. Hallelujah. One of our leaders called and said, oh, hallelujah. she said, I'm expecting three people to die in the church. Okay, we pray with her. We say, no one is going to die. No person is going nowhere. Nobody is dying. And now it's a good testimony. They are all well and whole in the name of Jesus. So we are praying. We all our branching, our family, spiritual family physical family. We are committing them in the hands of the Lord. That God Almighty will protect them. Listen, the power of God will protect our family. The power of God will protect our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, COVID-19 is under our feet. Whether you believe it or not, it is under our feet because it has a name. That is, hallelujah. You have got a name. I've got the name. The name of Jesus. And he said, Jesus said, I saw devil. I saw Satan falling down like a lightning. So, so therefore, I have given you power and authority so that you can come overcome him. So clothe yourself. Romans chapter 13 verse 14. Clothe yourself with 
Christ. Clothe yourself with Christ in the name of Jesus. Let your cloth be Jesus. Jesus is love. Jesus is humble. Jesus is hallelujah. Is patient. Clothe yourself with Christ. Hallelujah. That's why Paul recommends us. God he says, stand firm. Ephesians chapter 6. And that is what made Daniel to stood. Daniel stood firm. No person could have shaken him. Even the person that put him in the den of the lion prayed for him. And we are praying that any of the enemy, they will come, they will begin to pray for us. They pray, the person that put him in the den of the lion, he said, Daniel, Daniel, your God has served you. Your God is a God of miracle. I'm praying for you today. You will receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Your God is a God of miracle. My God is a God of miracle. That job that you think you cannot get, that job that you think you cannot end, you cannot achieve, that thing that you, that business, I'm praying that may the Lord, hallelujah, that document Many people are still roaming around yes. looking for documents. Yes. Stay, and we are praying in this place that may the Lord visit them, may the Lord bring them, hallelujah, in the right position. Let their mindset be settled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, everlasting Father. You are so wonderful, you are so glorious. Daniel was a boy that very young, humble, and obedient, hallelujah, with all his friends. They did not, as a man of God said, they, they, they didn't compete. So we just pray against the spirit of competition. That is what is killing us in churches today. The spirit of competition. We are praying against that spirit. The spirit of rivality. The spirit of rivality. I want to get money more than this. I want to show more than that. I want to do this. Those, all those things. The Bible says vanity upon vanity. All are vanities. So we are praying against the spirit of competition. In the body of Christ. We are praying against that spirit of the rivality. That spirit that makes you to think. If I'm not like this. I'm not that person no you got christ you got everything we are praying against that spirit in the name of jesus christ pray against that spirit a principle of jealousy the spirit of competition the spirit of hatred pray against that spirit you can see them that's why daniel saw the wickedness of nebuchadnezzar he said no god you must answer us innocent people will not die because of nebuchadnezzar dream answer and because god saw the heart of daniel he revealed the secret he revealed the dream to him when god will see your heart he he will reveal great things to you. He will reveal things because he knows that you will communicate it rightly at this stage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Now we want to pray because God is so faithful. Children are going back to school. Hallelujah. We know what is happening. M many things are happening. Children are going back to school. They will be exposed. They will be taught with this and that. Hallelujah. We are praying for our children. We want to pray for our children and grandchildren that are in the in the church. We are committing them, hallelujah, as they go back to school, that they will be exempted. Pray that prayer that your child, your daughter, hallelujah, the children of Father of Capitol, they will be exempted. The children of the body of Christ, they will be exempted. They will be exempted, hallelujah. The power of God will come upon them. They will be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. They will be exempted as they go back to school, hallelujah, the power of God will be the portion, the anointing of God. Nothing will happen to them in everything that they will be doing. The Lord will see through. Hallelujah. You see, when they, when Aaron wanted to kill uh, 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 Jesus when he was still small, the Lord appeared to, to, to Joseph. He said, take Jesus, carry him and go to Egypt. So that's how it's going to be. Anytime the enemy wants to interfere, God will reveal it to us in a dream. He will show us the way to escape. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, now Herod is looking to kill the Jesus. So take him and run away with him. And he obey. And one thing is a spirit of obedience. That we need to have the spirit of obedience. To hear the voice of God and obey. Why are we still standing? Because we want to fight with the spirit of God. We want to refuse. We want to reject the spirit of God. And this will be a fight. And we will not have peace. Let us pray that as our children go back to school, we as mothers we as parents will hear the voice of God, hallelujah, 
and we're going to walk according to what the voice of God will tell us to do. And the children will be protected under the canopy of God. Nothing will happen to them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus, not only the children, hallelujah, all the children, but we use the children in the hearts of God like a point of contact to reach out other families that doesn't know God. We pray that God will protect whosoever will come in contact with our children. They will be protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Our prayer must go very far. When, when God says, wake up and pray. Wake up and pray. Maybe he's showing your child for you so that you can have that passion and that compassion for you to pray. If he doesn't show, show your child, you will know you take you neglect. But when he shows your child, oh, your child, you will have that compassion. You will feel it in your heart to pray harder, to pray, to force to pray. And that's why we are praying that may the Lord exempt our children and and whosoever, all the children, the newborn baby, we are praying for them. Many are in the hospital. We are praying that the Lord will visit. They were born with so many, hallelujah, disease and sickness that they don't even know where it comes from. Listen, the plan of the devil have not changed. It's always there to destroy children. If you don't know it, let me tell you now that the plan and the threat haven't changed. His plan is always to destroy children. Listen, when Moses was born, his plan was that he should destroy all, he should kill all the male children, but thank God for poor and over. They were in, they were midwife. They they exempted. Hallelujah! They spared the life of Moses. They now become a deliverer. When Jesus was born, her arrow came out. He said they should destroy all the children. Let me tell you, the plan of the devil have not changed. If you are sleeping in your house and relaxing and and snoring, know that the plan of the devil haven't changed. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's agree and begin to pray for these children. Begin to pray for this newborn baby that are in the hospital. Hallelujah. That the Lord will visit them. Many have said oh, they, 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 they will not get healed. Many are born with so many diseases that we don't even understand. But those children, they are the you they, they are instrument in the hands of God. God wants to use them. But God is looking for you and I to pray. Hallelujah. That God will visit them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray that prayer. I don't know. Pray. Let the Lord visit those children in the hospital. Children hospital. When you go there, you cry. Let the Lord visit them. Let the Lord give the, the, the doctors wisdom. Let the Lord give the doctor wisdom. We see what happened with Stefan. Hallelujah. For how many months? Had one year. Battling in his head. But because of prayer, God remove it. How many children are like that? My God, I'm praying that may this, this prayer reach out in the hospital. Some small children, they are, they are having cancer. Some of them are having their baby. All those children, those things, they are plans of the enemy to destroy the children. Oh my God. And the parents will be purpless and hopeless. They will not have peace. But we are praying that those children, may the Lord heal them in the name of Jesus. May the Lord give peace to their parents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Thank you, King of Glory. We are happy when we do the things that God is asking us to do. We are happy when we are praying, hallelujah, for the children, hallelujah. As I just give you two examples, there are many other examples in the Bible. You know, and Moses and Jesus, they were young, they were still baby, but these two enemies, they wanted Pharaoh wanted to kill Moses and Aaron wanted to kill Jesus. Why they were still baby? It's the same demon, the same devil operating now. If you don't know, let me tell you, that is how he has been operating in the name of Jacob. So you and I, we've got all many, many prayer points to stand. You can pray for five hours because there are many prayer points that you can stand. You say, God, I want to pray for this. I want to pray for that. You forget about yourself. You just forget about yourself. You just began to pray. And you just began to pray for those that are wrongly that in the prison began to pray that may the Lord visit them in the name of and Jesus. There are prison. many that are in prison, wrong, hallelujah, wrongly. Many that are going to prison falsely because they're accused. falsely accused, even though rightly accused, they are in prison. But let me tell you, because Jesus went to the cross once and for all, those two, those young people are old people in prison. God will bring them and give them new life, God will bring them out and give them new identity. Agree with me right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God will give them new identity. New life. Hallelujah. New life. New name. My God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We have to remember 
that God alone has called you and I. If you are outside breathing and laughing and eating and still sleeping and relaxing and thinking of your money in the bank, you are in the wrong position. Very wrong position. If you don't think of praying for children and people in the in, in the prison, often and you don't think of praying of those men, you are really in the you are not a believer. You are in the wrong place. But when you connect with heaven, you say, God, you did not call me for myself. You call me because of others. Hallelujah. Jesus came because of the world. The Bible says he died and he gave his life because of you and I. So we also, we need to die and give our life for others. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of Glory. We are praying. Many have traveled, went to France. They went to many places. Spain. Went to Spain. Hallelujah. Holy they went on holiday. Thank God that our dear daughter, Christina, is back. She just texted me she's back. Hallelujah. Safely. We are praying that many of our brothers and sisters, that hallelujah, have that have traveled, we are praying for a mercy so journey God, back. Hallelujah. We are mercy journey back in the well, name of Jesus. We are Dr. praying that God will bring them back. Mm -hmm. We are praying for Dr. E, my brother and Lord, I went to Greece. We are praying for each and every one that we know. Pray. I don't know many, but you know man, some of them that have traveled this time of holy day, COVID-19, so many laws and regulations. We are praying that may the Lord bring them back in safely. The in the name of Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. Let them come back safely you and begin their activity in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this prayer in the name of Jesus, can we pray for those that are looking for job? Many are looking. You know, now to get a job is difficult. Hallelujah. But because you are a child of God, because you are the daughter of Zion, God has prepared a job for you. God has prepared something for you. And we are praying in the name of Jesus Christ that may the Lord show you the right job that will not take you out from God. Mm. That is how it is now. Yes. Job taking people out from the Lord. The right job that will not take you out from God. The right job that will make you to connect, hallelujah, with the Father, with the Father, with the Son, and with the Holy Ghost. May the Lord bring you, give you a job, hallelujah, that you, 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 you are going to glorify Him. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are praying that you are going to do wonderful things in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory be to God. We are praying for our Sunday service, beloved. We are praying for our God is doing great things. Yes, it's a healing service. Invite someone. Hallelujah. We do it. We have we've put everything in place. Distanciation, social distancing. We've got everything. Temperature taken. PPA. We got everything in place with our little group. Everything is being done accordingly, according to the rules that the Lord tell me. Everything is there. Hallelujah. So we are praying that may the Lord, many, many new people are coming. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We are so grateful because God answered prayer. Hallelujah. We are praying that God, hallelujah, will bring us together. We are praying that the Lord will visit us. That Sunday service, that the power of God pray that the atmosphere will be saturated with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The angels of God will saturate that place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will be bold to come into the front. We will be bold to come into the house of God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Many are scared or they are scared or they are running away but we are praying that the Lord hallelujah, will replace is our joy. The Lord will give us more joy because the power of God is moving powerfully. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray that you be part of that blessing on Sunday. You're going to be part, I'm going to be part of that blessing on Sunday because we're going to be doing the things that God has called us. Every time pray that, Lord, let me do your perfect will. Lord, use me to do your perfect will. Pray on in the name of Jesus. May your perfect will be done. You know, that prayer is so hard and it's so correct. May your perfect will be done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the perfect will of God be done in our life, in our mind. Anything you are doing out of the will of God is sin. It's sin. Anything that we are doing out from the will of God is sin. Anything. So we need to know the perfect will of God. How can I know the perfect will of God, Lord? The perfect will of God is when you are doing things and you have peace in your heart. Your heart is full with peace and joy. That is the perfect will of God. That your heart is not troubled. Your heart is not, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
I don't know. French man said, Trist, your heart is not worried. Shut when you are watching, your heart is not sad and bitter against one another. That is the perfect will of God. So let the perfect will of God be manifest on Sunday. Let anyone that comes in the house of the Lord, even though they are two or three, let us enjoy the presence of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We want to enjoy the presence of God. Pray that prayer. That Sunday, let the presence of God be manifest manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Start thanking God. Start thanking God. Say, Lord, hallelujah. Start thanking God. Say, God, I thank you. The things that I've asked and the things that you know I have, I need them and I have not asked them. I know that you give it to me. Listen, the things that you have asked and the thing that you didn't ask, and God knows that you need them, he's going to give it to us. Hallelujah. Pray that prayer. Lord, I thank you for answering my prayer. For the things that I've asked you to give me, and the thing that I didn't ask. And you know that it is better for me. It is the best for me. Lord, I thank you. The Bible says, began to thank God. Be, grat be grateful for what God has done. Hallelujah. We are so grateful. Say, Lord, we are so grateful. I'm grateful for my sister. I'm grateful for my brother. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for my spiritual children. I'm grateful because you have put them, hallelujah, in this ministry for a purpose. And we pray that that purpose will be used, hallelujah, according to your will. Ha, yeah, 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 yeah. Not according to the will of anybody, but according to the will of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, Glory be to God. God. Thank you, Jesus. Papa like dancing. Always like to put music. Hallelujah. Pray. I will pray also for those that, hallelujah. And watching for the first time, we pray that may they give their life to Jesus. We pray that may they receive Jesus and may they reconcile with Christ. May they come back to their first love in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you. We love you all and we hope to see you on Sunday. If you are not far, hallelujah. Sister Maria in Spain, we are praying for you. Continue to pray for you and your family. And we know that God is going to meet you. We know that God is going to bless you. And we are expecting you very, very soon. Hallelujah. We are expecting you very, very soon. And we know that you are going to come back safely. No problem. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And we want you to know that we love you all. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, King of Glory. Hallelujah. Bye-bye. And we love you. In Jesus' name. Bye. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of my life, of, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom, 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 shalom. Meet one another, meet everybody, say amen, 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 say greeting in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus.